Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on trigonometry. This video I will be focusing mainly on properties of triangle. Okay, there are many new tricks I will be telling you and some properties and theorems as well and how to do it in a very short span of time. Okay, let's start with some of the very old school thing. For example, we know that in an angle sin A by A that is sin B by B and sin C by C. Well, you know these are the angles and these are the simply sides okay this is your angle abc this is the d part okay and don't worry here uh, they don't ask for proofs <coughs> and this particular thing can also be written in the reverse order that is a by sine a b by sine b and c by sine c so in small these are all sides these are all angles okay now we are proceeding to <coughs> a sum for example the first question here <coughs> they have asked in an angle what is the value of this thing in order to do this we need to apply this formula so first if we split it this can be how can it be written <coughs> This A will be outside and this will be the summation. If we split the summation, this is sine, <coughs> for example, let's just take it. This is a side they are talking about. So we know that is A by sine A equal to B by sine B and C by sine C. So let this be equal to K. So here we can write this A equal to K into sine A. So this is your first benchmark to solve it. So k sin a into sin b minus sin c. That's the starting point. After that, k will be outside and we are going to just change the values and positions and we can check what's happening. So 1 sin a and sin b minus sin c plus sin b again sin c minus sin a and lastly sin c sin a minus sin b so if you just calculate this thing will be zero so the answer to this particular question is zero so this basic levels need to be mastered in order to solve the forthcoming level based sums okay now our next question is on the basis of this triangle law that is if a equal to 45 c equal to 60 then a plus root 2 into c what is this value now this one is an interesting one a is given c is given so all you have to do is to find b so these very similar in a triangle this will be 75 subtracting from this so by the sine rule, so this formula is a by sine a, this is 45, b by sine b, that is 75, and c by sine c, that is again sine 60 degree. Okay, that's it. So here, if you just put the values, so this is 2 root a by 2, 2 root b, and root 3 plus 1. So here I'm just putting the value okay so this sign 45 this thing is root 2 and a is a this sign 75 is this entire value and similarly sign c it's very easy root 3 by 2 so it will be reversed so c so in this case we can find the value our target is to find a and c with respect to b or a and b with respect to c Keep one thing as your subject and other thing, you it will be easier for you to find out. So root 6b, root 3 plus 1. So these are the two. So now all we have to do is root 2c. Just calculate it, you will get it as 2b. Okay. Now we are proceeding to a uh, different uh, type of theorem now. So the cosine formula. So that is cos A cos B cos C formula. So here B square plus C square minus A square by 2BC. Cos B is C square plus 
a square minus b square by 2 ac and cos c is a square plus b square minus c square whole divided by 2 ab so these are the three important formulas with the help of these we will be able to solve <coughs> many different questions also i will be coming to that within a very short span of time in this particular video and there are proposed projection theorem as well a equal to b cos c c cos b b equal to c into cos a a into cos a. actually what happens in when it comes to trigonometry even at higher examinations also there isn't any much variety to div so this one is a very scoring arena for the students who are preparing for this kind of competitive examinations okay and there are sine a by 2 so i'm not wasting time in writing so but uh, there is a special thing i will tell you about that uh, circles connected to a triangle so for example this is a circle and this is your triangle in these kind of cases what will happen uh, here we can write r equal to a by 2 sin a by 2 sin b and c by 2 sin c okay and there is again a b c by 4 this That's a, this uh, triangle is sine is nothing but delta and this uh, signifies the area okay and there are some basic rules also r equal to area by this and uh, small r has a formula 4 r into sine a by 2 into cos b sine b by 2 into sine c by 2 so these are the formulas you need to master uh, in order to uh, solve the questions now what if the circles ascribed on a triangle that means if the circle is outside of the triangle this one is a new one a very important one okay when circle outside of the triangle for example this one this one is our triangle this is your triangle a b c that's it and then it is being given like this okay so this particular one is f Okay, so this is called I1, let it be R1, obviously R1 equal to R2. So this circle, this I1 center circle is an ascribed, okay. So this is a special property. The centers of the ascribed circles are called the X centers. For this the formula will be a little bit different, lan by S minus A, R2, lan minus b and this are 3 delta y s minus c r1 equal to s tan a by 2 r2 equal to s tan b by 2 and r3 equal to s tan c by 2 okay so uh, these kind of questions are also now coming into competitive examination so we'll be focusing on this as well okay so uh, now i will be solving some questions uh, with respect to the given uh, some of the <coughs> part from my material and some questions i will be also doing from the past previous year uh, competitive examination questions as well and but before going to all of these i will also give you a very uh, interesting formula uh, for uh, this and that is uh, Ptolemy's theorem so it's Ptolemy's theorem that in a cyclic quadrilateral cyclic quadrilateral means if the quadrilateral is like this 
in a cyclic quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Remember they have seen it as a quadrilateral, not as a square or rectangle or rhombus or physium. No, a perfect shape. So it's given that AC, this thing into BD, the product of the two diagonals is AB into CD plus BC into AD. They don't ask you to prove it because people can really mug it up. So questions won't come like this, but this is an important formula. And another one is on regular polygon. In the regular polygon, you need to remember each interior angle of a regular polygon with n sides has a formula into pi by 2. So this is the n equal to sides. Regular polygon means all the sides are same. Okay. So this one is a very interesting one. And uh, what is the formula of area of a cyclic quadrilateral that you must be knowing? That area of a cyclic quadrilateral is this, just like the triangle formula, only the fourth side is added. Okay. And some more special formula I will be telling now. This you haven't seen before. Certain radius of a cyclic lateral. So let circumradius of a cyclic quadrilateral equal to R and the triangle itself is ABC. So R equal to AC by 2 sin B is a very interesting formula. Okay. Remember that trigonometry is all about formula and application. So you better remember all this stuff. Okay. Otherwise, without these formulas, it's very hard to get a grip in many of the topics. And the normal with respect to entire side base formula also you need to remember AC minus AC plus BD okay and this will be AD plus BC so there you can see when there's a crisscross A and B are fixed other things are changing and the next is AB plus CD very common one and the denominator is this minus A S minus B and S minus C. Remember that the root over is for numerator and denominator both S minus T. Okay. Next is we are going to the solve some problems on this. Some will be easy, some will be a relatively tough one. Okay in the next video problem solving okay thank you